all we're doing as medical providers is putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Absolutely, yeah. And, and then helping the patient join the dots as well. But I think that's the bit that I know you love and I love is the detective side of it and trying to help understand, help them understand what's, why they're in the position they're in, what's actually triggering the pain or the symptoms that they've had. It's a lot of fun, actually, the way I think of it. It's kind of like being a detective. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, favorite, my favorite American detective was Columbo. Oh, I love he Columbo. <laughs> he was played by Peter Falk, and uh, I just loved him because he would always find some little piece of information. He said, this one thing's bugging me, you know. Yeah. Just as he's walking out the door. <laughs> yeah, as he's walking out the door. Yeah, he was brilliant. I love that. Yeah. And, uh, for example, I saw a woman uh, a couple years ago who was had pain with typing. Mm -hmm. And she was working at a job where she did a lot of computer work. And her pain was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then it was better on the weekends. And so that sounds quite like a structural type problem of some kind. Mm -hmm. uh, but from a mind-body point of view, it certainly can be what we would call a conditioned response. And that every time she types, her brain is causing the pain. And so I asked her a question. I said, do you have this pain any other, any other times aside from when you're at work? And she said, yes, I frequently get it on Sunday evening. And I said, well, have you been typing on Sunday? And she said, no, not at all. Anyway, well, thank you so much, Howard. I really appreciate you uh, telling us a little bit about your work. I'm really pleased that the new book's coming out soon as well. Um, and very much looking forward to seeing you again in October as well.